and I walked in Chanel and I saw the shoes that I wanted and I bought them so I wanted to show them to you Hello everybody and welcome to Barcelona with me I was on a car pickup at 6.30 a.m. this morning which means that I got up at 5 well, you know, to have shower and all that good stuff that you need to do. And then I am already in one of my favorite cities of the world. I arrived. I am still waiting for Nina to arrive. She had some flight issues. Did I do this well? Looks a bit odd. Does it look odd to you? I literally just need to go and grab coffee. And then I will continue vlogging in feel full swing mode as soon as everything's sorted. I really need a coffee. I haven't had a single cup of coffee today. And it's already... I think it's like two well which would be like one uk time still for me that is very late so <sighs> excited to be in barcelona and even more so i am actually staying in the neighborhood where i kind of like spent a lot of time as a student because i used to spend summers in barcelona learning spanish and studying and stuff like that wow this sometimes really cute look at this I need to go to the ground floor, please. Thank you. Well, I'm kind of like in between Plaza Catalunya and Plaza Universidad, which are like my old neighborhood. In fact, the building in which I live, lived uh, in Barcelona, is like less than three minutes walk from here. So the Starbucks that I got so confused. The Starbucks that I'm gonna go to this morning is my local one that I used to go to in the summers. Ooh. Perdón. Gracias. I am actually very very excited. I didn't even like have a shower since I arrived But um, I had one this morning. So all that counts. I'm gonna get ready and all once Nina arrives here just put my so shady so over it sunglasses because you know, I had a 5 a.m. wake up, but I'm still in a really good mood. This good mood thing is really working for me. So Barcelona, let's do this Actually, one of my favorite things in um, Barcelona are like the cute little cafes and I just thought I'd go to Starbucks because I'm used to it but then I discovered this place Let's see if they have oat milk or latte Small update, I'm currently, oh wow, it's windy I didn't really dress that appropriately um, I need to speak to you guys so I'm gonna find a quiet place to tell you a few things Always the crowd here because it's Casa Batlló, which I love. It's so beautiful. It's one of the most famous pieces of Gaudi's work. But I guess you guys are not here for the architecture, are you? She has finally arrived after so many cancellations, flight delays. <laughs> anyway, Nina and I are having exactly the same food in Barcelona. Kale salads, coconut uh, water and oat milk lattes. How about that? And I'm gonna speak to you guys as soon as we eat because this is our first proper meal of the day. Not really a quiet street, but we are in our street. And as promised, I'm gonna show you the look of the day, which is very casual. I'm wearing Nina. Mother denim jeans. That's right. The Christian Dior sneakers. A Louis Vuitton bag. Yes. Super cool Fendi jacket. Just because it's windy, and then Nina's not gonna know this. I'm wearing a Jack Moose top. You might know because uh -huh. there's always an issue with the boob falling out. Jack Moose top. And so shady sunglasses. Yeah. yesterday in post. It's Chanel Le Beige. I don't know how to pronounce things in it's French. It's like foundation, but it's like such like a light coverage, like very glowy, dewy, very watery. Like it's kind of like a water and inside of it, it looks like dispersed tint inside of it. I don't know if you can tell. I just applied with a brush. It's so glowy. I literally, I know this sounds really, really vain, but 
today I've been like walking around and every time I pass the mirror I look at myself and I'm like oh this is so nice is this really bad I never actually used the Chanel foundation before and this is just I'm obsessed mine is in shade medium I don't think there are many shades because it's kind of adaptable to your shade so yeah and it's so quick I'm now using Laura Mercier blush in shade fresco it's so nice I love it. This is actually what I've been using lately to kind of accentuate my cheekbones. And there's a lot of... Look at my fragrance. Lina. Lina bought me this for my birthday. I love this so much. Look how much I've already used it. I love it. You know what? Yesterday I used this in the morning and I went downstairs. My sister went to work. I went to hairdresser and she was like... And I mean, I have like 100 fragrances, okay? Like, you know... I right. love. Yeah, you know. And she was like, what's that fragrance? And every time my sister likes a fragrance, I'm like, you can have it because, you know, like, I, I, with it. And I was like, well, actually, <laughs> this one you cannot have. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And you know, I bought a Louis Vuitton fragrance before this one, and I don't like it. I saw, really? I bought it, I liked it in the shop, and then I wore it a few times, and it's too heavy. So now I'm using the Bobbi Brown highlighter in Highlight and Glow. Bare Glow Opal Glow. I use the gold one. I like her. I like better gold kind of. I just you know it's nothing too, nothing too fussy. Just easy peasy. And then guys, I'm pretty much ready. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm actually gonna use this blush now. I I've never done this before, but let's do it as like an eyeshadow because I really like the color. So I apply it a bit in the crease of my eye, just a bit to kind of blend everything in nicely. And I think I'm done. I might actually use a bit of this Chanel black crayon coal intense eye pencil. No, just to put some on my waterline to kind of get more dramatic because drama is the key. Oh, ja, ja. Oh, ja, ja. Very casual, not too precise. Because I like makeup never to be too precise. I don't like the whole kind of like Kardashian look. I like the messy, I slept in this makeup, then I woke up and I left the home. Now let's leave the hotel because we've been like chatting and working for the most of the afternoon. <laughs> Nina and I are talking about like so, so many things. And then every time we like stop recording, we continue <laughs> from where we stopped. I love these earrings from Camilla's collection. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. This is good. I love it. Maybe like two hours later, we are actually working in the room. And I kind of want to show you what it looks like. It's like chocolates, computers, memory cards, cameras. But chocolates are important because Nina had a layover in Zurich. So she got us. Well, she got me, but I'm so nice to share. Thank you. My fee. Favorite, favorite, Sprungli. I can probably not pronounce that properly, but you know, like take it or leave it. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, one thing I wanted to say, I'm gonna put my phone on the airplane mode because I'm gonna receive 200,000 texts now. I guess maybe some people are wondering who are you, Nina, and where is Christina, and now many conspiracy theories will start online. But I have actually introduced Nina to you guys in November, December, December, January. Yeah, but now I'm new Christina. Now <laughs> And Christina's editing videos. Yeah, Christina's now editing videos, and Nina's just. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Like, before you guys start thinking crazy stuff, no, it's. Um, Nina has been working with us since November. Yes, but it seems like we got it. Yeah. Seems like we nailed it and we are working together on videos and content mainly so we want to create some videos now in Barcelona which is why we're together but not only because of that um, also because I think Christina needs break from traveling a little bit <laughs> today we're just kind of browsing around it's so funny because when I, I wanted to tell you kind of like short little story I hope I'm not gonna bore you too much but um, the whole point of this was I think first time I ever have been to Barcelona was I feel so embarrassed <laughs> behind, 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 the behind behind the scenes first time I've ever been to Barcelona was I think 20 years ago 
I came here for the first time ever with my grandma and um, I was just so impressed with all the like work of Gaudi with like architecture I love the city I loved everything and then I kind of kept coming back then I came next year after with my mom and my sister and like my family and then after that I got back again later I think at some point at uni my grandma and myself we would get on a bus and we would travel for 36 hours we would start, so my grandma lives in Bosnia, we would start in Sarajevo and we would get on the bus from Sarajevo to Barcelona. But it was like the best highlight of my childhood. I was like 10. So you look like your grandma in a way because she liked to travel a lot, right? I think so. And you know what? I actually like think I'm quite similar to my grandma. It's my mom's mom and my dad's gonna hate me now for saying this, of course, because just like every dad, he's like not the best friends with my with my mother's mom. Um, but she has very thick hair. She's 80 and she still travels. Like you see? on a bus to like, she would go to like Portugal. Can you imagine? Or to France on a bus at 80. Wow. She has stronger social media following than me. Really? Really, like my grandma has Facebook, like she uses Facebook. I think only grandmas use Facebook now. No one else uses Facebook, right? She has Facebook. She has like over a thousand Facebook friends and she takes her publications so seriously. There's never a day without her using social media. You see that profile. You, you, you like, and she writes these like long messages. Her so now we found out that you look like... Yeah, like my, I'm sure my, because my dad, you know, of course watches all of my YouTube videos, right? Yeah, you, you know, hi. he knows everything. So, sorry dad. I think I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get changed, and then gonna kind of fill you in. It's already like almost, oh my God, it's past eight. Can you believe it? Okay, I'll change quickly and we need to go. picture that we just took like, right away. Normally I never do this right away. I kind of wait usually for a month of picture to come pictures to compile. And eating chocolate I see. Mm. Secretly. People are, oh, I'll tell you this later. People apparently think that I don't eat anything. Well they know nothing. They know not you know nothing John Snow. Good morning everybody it's a new day and um there is no one on the street because it's 7.14 except for Nina and me we are going to take some pics I think this is the first time ever I'm wearing these uh, by the way sunglasses they're called so fierce but I think these are the ones that suit me the least out of all yeah really? I don't know I think but maybe because I haven't worn them a lot but I really felt like them today but they are nice yeah, I'll leave a link below so you guys can check out all of my collection. They're kind of like a bit cool when you look through. I cannot describe it, but it's... I'll show you later. So by the way, today Nina and I are shoot winning. You guys have to see this. <laughs> Except that I accidentally, ages ago, bought wrong size of my first. We're now gonna take some pictures, basically. That's all. Market, Boqueria, which is gonna be here on the left side. I actually feel great. How's you feel? Perfect. Perfect? Yes. Um, we just took some pictures. It's 8.21. I'm gonna continue taking some more and then we need to have some breakfast. like a very eventful day as you guys know we got up at six then got ready walked around went to la rambla la boqueria uh, plaza real then after that we went to the rosa clara show i think nina filmed some takeouts 
I haven't even told you where we're going and stuff like that So hopefully you'll be able to see some bits and bobs of everything we did <laughs> Look at her there. You can come around I, know. I wanted to tell you a story about a girl that used to come to Barcelona all the time I think this is like I visited Barcelona more than 10 times. Oh now I revealed that I'm the girl Okay, my bad. Anyway, I want to tell you a story about a girl that used to come to Barcelona when she was a student and I used to come and stay in like student accommodation and um, study Spanish and I would live here for like the whole duration of summer, go to classes, go to the beach, find friends and things like that, go to the beach with them and my parents would normally pay for this school and they would pay for my student accommodation and for my flights but everything else was on me. I would work for, well, I would normally come here but before then I used to work in the pharmacy for like, I remember once I worked for six weeks so that uh, I would take all the money and have it as pocket money in Barcelona. I mean, it was kind of a lot for me, but it was not like a lot so that you can go around shop and buy whatever you have. So after the classes, I would go whole day around uh, Paseo de Gracia and just kind of look at Chanel, Dior, Lueve, like look at all of these shops and think how one day I'm gonna be able to buy these things because as a student obviously like I could buy like one piece per season like when I would come here like buy something small but it's not like I could go into the Chanel and like shop around and stuff like that well let's say that I was a student probably yeah that was like 10 years ago yeah, that was 10 years ago. I used to have a friends at the school that would like come and like shop in like all of these like expensive stores. But I would also spend my days going to like Zara and Bershka and Mango and just looking at that because at one point I didn't even have like money for that because I would eat it all or I would spend it at the beach, etc. But now the tables have turned and I am, it kind of felt really crazy. That yesterday I was like walking around Paseo de Gracia and I walked in Chanel and I saw the shoes that I wanted and I bought them so I wanted to show them to you they're completely unworn so excuse that I put them on bed it's a block heel which by the way is kind of like you know more comfortable for summer nights or summer days even like with summer dresses and um, silver in the front with some chains and I guess like they don't look like much like this but I think they look very pretty on the foot especially if you're tanned and I think they're quite special because I have like gold gold sandals but I don't have silver ones like this for day so these will be fabulous and I felt so amazing like walking in Chanel and being like trying them on and buying them and being like yes this is what I want so yeah very happy I wouldn't say I'm happy for buying a pair of shoes because as you guys know I have so many shoes but it was just the feeling of kind of being independent and doing my own thing and yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is too weird or too personal. You let me know in the comments what you think. Now I'm gonna go and get ready because I think we're gonna head to Montjuic to take a few pics and I might even wear my new sandals. I love for taking pictures at this time of the day especially sort of like when the sun starts setting and the fountain the magic fountain is not on because I get the best like view of everything in this incredible place I actually love exploring Montreal a little bit more but you need like a whole day to see everything I've changed twice so I was trying some pictures of what I've worn so far but um this Sweater, which you haven't seen so far and then the girlfriend denim jeans that Nina loves because this and then I'm wearing the new Chanel shoes so that's it I don't really wear silver like silver much I more wear gold and the sand bag it has like silver on it so that's gonna be the mix for me now we're gonna head to the hotel because we actually have a um, dinner with the Rosa Clara team which is obviously why we were in Barcelona so we have a dinner now and then we're gonna get back to the hotel. Nina's flight is at 6 a.m. in the morning. Yay! She's going to Brussels. And I am going to Mandra, but you guys, uh, my flight, well, my car pickup is at 6 a.m. as well. So I think 
This week, every day, I got up at six or before six. Lucky me. guys I have just finished packing over here and about to leave to the airport I probably look the worst that I have looked in this whole entire video but you guys are gonna have to excuse that I watched the whole video and I realized that I <laughs> I haven't actually got a kind of like closing scene so I haven't said goodbye to you from Barcelona and I'm already on to my next trip because right after Barcelona Marrakesh is next and that's a whole nother vlog so I'm in bed and you can't really see but I'm not really wearing much I'm wearing something I'm not naked but not that much that this is getting weird it's late I'm gonna sleep I love you thank you for watching this vlog I'll see you soon bye